it looks like to me uh, I'm kind of done with uh, the forms themselves so that's kind of a good thing uh, that we're working on um, I'm going to move something out of the way here there we go and so the next step to make it look like a complete painting is actually we need to do something here with the background and it looks to me like it's just a little lighter on top and maybe going darker down towards the bottom and I think these ones are mostly darker uh, heavier figures and so I'm probably going to have a little bit of a lighter background in fact it might be mostly just some of the white paint um, or the lighter paint transitioning in here I don't think I really need to transition much past maybe starting out with this light value here and then have it have it just kind of gradually go um, let's have it gradually go lighter as it goes to the top on those uh, let's do an experiment let's just paint in and see what we got okay so if I had this value here I think that's probably going to be okay for us to utilize that and so this is going to be the very bottom color and it's going to go lighter as we come across now these are pretty small brushes uh, for putting uh, this paint on here but that's okay I'm all right with having a small brush on those it gives you a little bit more control but you can cover quite a bit of area with just a little bit of paint and so let's just start here uh, and work our way up if I need to mix up more paint then I will of course and the other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to make my brush strokes kind of in a consistent direction too and so I'm going to use um, horizontal brush strokes on, on this one and so they're all going to be kind of be going that direction is what my plan is and I'm going up to but not quite to the the everything that's there right and so like right here on this part I'm feeling pretty confident in having this that the lightest blue I have but as it approaches these figures right here right as it approaches the forms it's going to get just a touch lighter because that's the way of it okay. except for this part over here might get just a little little darker okay so so I have that initial down there can I get my paper towel find that if you fold it into quarters it'll probably work out okay for you because of the, 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 the paints always kind of seep through a little bit Okay, so I'm just going to clean that off for a second. Now I'm going to go back and get me some white. Because as I said, as it comes in here, it's going to go just a little bit lighter. So this is my white. And I'm kind of painting it right onto the seam. I don't know if I'm wanting to go completely white, but it is going to go lighter as we come across over like that okay so now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to mix it with my brush and then I got to make sure I got to I got to pay attention to my edges right and I paint right up to them I can overlap a little bit if I want particularly if there's a flaw because the paint is fairly fairly um, opaque like right here there's just I wanted that to be a little straighter maybe maybe even you know what it should be let's see maybe about like that let me get some more white here Let's blend that together. Oopsies, oopsies, oopsies. There we go. That's what we wanted. 
make that. I almost forgot that there was that. That wasn't the end of it. It extends back out into there a little bit. Now these paints are going to stay fairly wet. Um, you probably notice that from day to day to day to day. Okay, now I'm just going to be mixing. This is just mixing, painting down into this area. And I can be more aggressive with the, uh, the background because, you know, there's not a real right or wrong necessarily on it. And I didn't want it completely white, and so I, I do want it to change value as it comes closer to the, um, the stuff here. And I think we've been able to do that. That's made a real nice mix in there. And now let's come back over here. Pay attention to your lines. It could be a little more aggressive, mixing with my, mixing with my brush, right? So that it's a little bit lighter right around the figure, but a smooth blend, a smooth transition on that. How's that look? Wow, that looks cool. I'm glad you agree. Okay, so where was I? Okay, now for along back here, and maybe we'll get darker as we go up. I'm not sure. So in this area here, this is that light blue again. Because right next, because when you have when you have values in in your painting, and we always do, right? You always have values. Anytime there's a light area next to the dark area, the light gets lighter and the dark gets darker. So what does that mean? That means that if this is my lightest blue, right here, this is a light blue. That means that as this light blue gets close to this shadow, it's going to go a little bit lighter. Lighter blue uh, on those. Same with, with as it's right near these pieces over here. And this dark area here should get a little bit darker, actually. So the light gets lighter and the dark gets darker. Okay, so I'm going to go, I'm, I'm thinking for me, this is about the height that I want it before it starts transitioning into something else. I said, I may go darker. I may just go a darker value. So about right at this level is where this is going to start to change value. We'll see what work. It'll probably work better as a darker value. Okay, so I got my preliminary coats down here, just like I did with that other one. Clean off my brush. Go grab some white and paint the white right along the edge. Let's go get some more white. We're going to do some blending again. And like I said, the cool thing about oil paints is they are um, they are opaque, which means you can cover up stuff with them. So if you had a little part that kind of splooged out a little bit. You can cover it up with the white paint. Makes it really nice if you make a few mistakes here and there. Got to turn this this way just a little bit. A little bit of blue in my white. That's okay.
a little more white for this other side. that. Okay, now let's do some blending. Like I said, I want to use horizontal strokes, and it needs to get lighter, but it doesn't have to be white, per se. And so I'm brushing along the seam to blend it a little bit. But I did want horizontal brush strokes. So it, it's just a little bit lighter right around the edge and it's blending into that blue. Let's go over here so I can kind of match the, 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 the height on that one. So in here about that height, that's where it's going to start to transition into the other value. And this one is my base is my light blue, right? Now the interesting thing of it is is as we come around this corner right here this is a light side and now the background is um, going to be the darker value so I gotta transition this to be slightly darker right along that edge So now I'm going to get my middle blue, and my middle blue is, is darker, and so my background needs to go at least that much darker. Get a little more blue. It's all blue, Mr. White. You're right, it's all blue. It is definitely blue. Blue is what it is. Okay, and so let's brush along the seams now, right? That's how we blend. Yeah, I'm just lightly pulling on this. I need my strokes to go in this direction. And so what I'm doing is I'm just barely touching the paintbrush down to make, 
make so I can see the strokes go, but hopefully not. Um, like let me clean off my brush a little bit. I got a little too much paint on there. Let's go this way another time. There we go. And so now I'm just going to work in those brush strokes across this way. so that we're consistent on our brush strokes for the most part anyway and clean that off a little bit now just barely touching that transition it into what's next to it soft transition. Okay, how's that look? Oh cool, I'm getting paint on my mousey cord. That'll show me. I think that's part of the problem when you start moving around the <laughs> painting all the way to the edge. Start getting paint on everything. Okay, let's try and keep it somewhat workable here. Okay, so let's go ahead and I think like I said I wanted it to go darker so my base value here is going to be this one. And that's my middle blue. Middle blue I think I might start to run out of middle blue too. I'd have to dip into my secret supply. Now when you start doing the background, I'm almost positive you're going to end up painting a little bit on the table. Just because you hardly can avoid it. Okay, so let's go ahead and paint in our transitions, right? Got to change from light blue to dark blue, or the other way around. And get a little bit of my light stuff here. And then I want to get some of my, my light blue and put it right on the edge right here, right? Next to the thing, next to the, the cube. Because it's going to change its value. It's going to be slightly lighter. So this is still going to be a lighter blue. Let's transition that a little easier. Okay, this needs to be very light scrapes of the paint. And just pulling them into the area next to it. Clean off my brush a little. Clean off my brush. off my brush
Okay, let's uh, let's go right to here. Because this should be that same light bl blue. But it's already been tinted a little bit, right? So So it's going just a little darker because this area was tinted a little when I put the stuff into it. And so it's changing. Okay. Now I get my light blue for around this area. Trying to get right in there. Gotta bend my head almost upside down to see where that line is. Clean off my brush. Now let's blend this in a little bit. Clean off my brush, getting too dark. Let's go back and get a little bit more blue, light blue, lightest blue. And let's blend that in with the background. Clean off my brush a little bit. Kind of like that. So this has a good transition here. It's a lighter, it's lighter down here at the bottom. We have a smooth transition in this area. It still has almost a, 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 I want to say a halo effect around the areas here. So it's a lighter. It stands out a little bit more uh, on what we're doing uh, with those. And then I think for my very, very top, I'm going to transition that into this blue. So I'm going to have a three value change in my background. If I can hold on to the, the, the thingy here. But around the objects themselves, um, it's going to be, um, it'll be lighter. Okay, so this is more towards the corner, this transition. Because you should always darken in your corners if you're having something like this. It's called a, a vignette. It's when you burn in the corners. So that was my my darker blue, right? So let's go back for this middle blue. And the middle blue is going to go in here. thing it is is it's kind of middle blue on this thing here but that's okay so I'm going to blend this together clean off my brush get some more middle blue wow that's a lot
And what I'm noticing is right along the edge here, it's that the sphere is actually a middle blue as well. So I got to go even a, a shade, shade lighter on that transition. Okay, let's mix this a little bit. Bring it down so it's a smoother transition right in through here. So I'm bringing it down, then taking some of the stuff up. For the most part on this area here. Let's pull it down a little bit. Now it's doing some crazier stuff. I gotta pay it, do some things for my. So that's a good transition that I really like there. I think that was working out well. But I need to focus a little bit on this other right here. This is light blue. have that light blue right next to the sphere. Let's mix that in a little bit. to keep this horizontal component and I got to get it to blend and it can go a little bit All right, let's do this for a second Okay, so on these ones you get the brush strokes going the right direction. I'm going to take it like that. Then I'm going to clean off my brush. Take that in there. Clean off my brush. Take it from there. Clean off my brush. That had a little bit of darker than more darker than I wanted. off the brush. Good. Okay, starting to get a little bit too dark. Oh, I'm getting that. I'm getting to clean off my brush in the middle. Once I can get this down here, that's put a lot of dark on there, right? So we can get this and get it streaking into there. That literally was a streak, huh? Then we can worry about getting that. Okay, 
Okay, so now we can work with the area right around it. I think that's worked out pretty good on that. I gotta come over here to this other side, turn it upside down so I can actually paint on it. So that needs to be just a little bit lighter. Okay, cool. Okay, that was the light blue. This is going to be middle blue. Right in through here. I think we did middle blue about up into this area. And I'm starting to run out of that. We'll admit the background is taking a little bit of time. That's the way of it though. Okay, gotta clean off my brush a little bit. Time for transitions. Painting along the seams, trying to blend them together.
that's a pretty good transition right there. We're liking that. Now this has to go just a little bit darker there, and that was my middle blue, right? So then this part here has to go even just a little bit darker. Right into there, like that. And also just around the corner a little bit, but only to about right here. Once it gets past that, it starts going actually lighter. Okay, so let's let's blend this together a little bit. Clean off my brush. Paint the seams so that they blend. So it looks pretty blendy. Now reestablish your brush strokes. Cleaning up in between. Okay, so let's see. This one is going to go slightly darker there, too. Let's see if that works. So right in through here, it goes darker. I think even right up until there. can see here. Then this one has to go to the darker one we decided, right? Because this transitions into this darker blue. I admit this is pretty cool
Ooh, that's a lot of it. Okay. Let's get some more uh, paper towels. <laughs> Eyes are running out. Okay, now let's blend this stuff together. This darker blue is getting a little drier. That's what's causing it to get a little more streaky. So I have to use a slightly lighter touch on it. I'm trying to decide whether, because this is the darker value right here, right? So the dark's got to get even a little bit darker as it approaches that that area, which means right in here this has got to be the darkest blue still right because it's a medium that's right there so if the dark's got to get darker right along this edge it's got to go darkest blue is going to have to be tricky as we come around to the other side here. So I'm going to have to make that blend into that lighter value too, huh? This is just me wiping the brush off in between so I can keep it fairly clean as I work this edge where it does have to go a little bit darker. I think we got it. Now comes the hard part where I have this dark, dark. I got to transition it into this light value here. What about grab some of this stuff. This, this was, I'm grabbing my light blue. 
Now you, we know they got to mix it on the fly here. It does have to transition into this. Broad jumps in value, or they're kind of hard. Gradual transitions are over a greater area. They're a little easier. So if I take this light and I pull it into the dark, you make sure I'm mixing with that. Still a little bit more than what I want. some of that light blue still. So I need that light blue right there. As it goes into that one. This is where it changes dark. This is where it goes light. More of the light blue. Got it there. Another little bit of light blue. there, huh? Okay, what does it look, look like right side up? That's the real question. Kind of looks like that. I like this to come down a little more. Maybe something like that for a background. That looks good. I think we'll keep it. I think that's a keeper. <laughs> 